Assalamu alaikum. My name is Sapira and today I'm going to be doing a very special unboxing. This is the bag. Okay, so if you guys have been following me for a while, you guys know that I am absolutely obsessed with handbags. I love handbags and like small leather goods um, from designer brands. <laughs> and the reason why I love them is because their quality is so nice and it really lasts you such a long time. Um, for example, my first uh, Louis bag was back when I was in college. It was like, I think when I just started college. So it was like at least five years ago, five, six years ago. And I still have that bag and that bag still looks like I bought it yesterday. It's absolutely beautiful, stunning Damir Eben print. Um, so that's where kind of the obsession with handbags started. So now I'll be adding a new one to my collection. So I wanted to unbox this with you guys. Here is the box. Let's open it up. What a cute little dust bag it comes with. This is the newest bag to my collection. What a little cutie. This is the Louis Vuitton Nano Speedy, and this is in the black emprunt leather. So this bag is 100% leather. My other bags are mainly canvas, but this year I wanted to decide to gravitate towards leather bags because I feel like they will last much, much longer than uh, any canvas bags would, obviously, because it's leather. So this is why I decided to go with this little piece right here. And I love the fact that it's all black. I wanted an all black handbag for so long now. And the one thing I love about this bag is that you cannot tell it's a Louis bag from afar. Only if you come closer is when you can actually see the embossed print on the leather. But that's what I love about this bag is that it's very discreet, very cute. So let me give you guys a close up of the bag. So this is the bag. I'll leave the specs on the screen on top because I don't remember. But it comes with two top handles and there's one zipper compartment. And the inside is just one big hole, like all speedies are. <laughs> so this bag also comes with the strap. So this is a crossbody strap. And I'll show you guys the tag as well. So you guys know the model of the bag. And this is just another card that came with the bag. It just says that it's leather, blah, blah, blah. This is a strap that comes with this bag. It is super cute. And this has the logo here as well. It says Louis Vuitton. And the strap is adjustable, which I love. It's a very nicely made piece. The inside is, like I said, just one big pocket. There's a little leather tab here, which I'm not sure if you guys can see. It's right here. But that also says Louis Vuitton, made in France. And the inside is lined with like a suede type material, which is very nice. And basically, you can just clip on the strap to both ends of the bag and you have a nice crossbody. Now, a lot of questions that I had prior to purchasing this bag was if it's going to fit my phone. A lot of my mini bags don't fit my phone because they're so small, but this one surprisingly does fit my iPhone when I have the iPhone 15 no, sorry, I have the iPhone 14 Pro Max, which is the biggest um, size that they have in the iPhone. It fits in here perfectly fine. So let me go get it and I'll show you guys how it fits inside. Okay, so this is my phone. Um, like I said, it's the iPhone 15, 14. I don't know why I'm saying 15 because <laughs> I think the new one just came out, the 16. So that's why I'm kind of like, okay. Um, anyways, this is the 14 Pro Max. It's the bigger size and this can fit inside here. It's a little bit of a struggle but it fits inside perfectly fine and there's still so much room on top and bottom for 
more of your things. I'm currently making the video on my Osmo Pocket 3, but that also fits inside the bag along with the phone. So when I'm traveling and stuff, um, if I have this small bag, I would want to take my camera along with me as well. So both of them fit in this bag perfectly fine. And other than that, card holders, keys, everything can fit perfectly fine in this bag. It seems very small, but it's a very spacious bag. It's like a big giant hole in the inside. And the side is pretty wide too, so you can easily fit a lot of things inside here. All right, so let me give you guys some mod shots of how the bag looks like when you wear it. Unfortunately, the top handle is so small, I cannot fit my hand through it. <laughs> so just something to keep in mind if you're looking to purchasing this bag. So you can just hold it like this, but I'm okay with that. Okay, so overall, I think this bag is super duper cute. It's very sturdy, and I feel like it's going to last me a very long time, especially given that it's all leather. And it's just such a cute little bag overall. I think it's going to... Oh my god, what is that? Oh my god, I think the leather is chipping. <gasps> Do you guys see that? Do you see that little white dot? Oh my goodness. Wow, I think... I think I'm gonna have to take this back. Oh my goodness, I literally did not even notice that until right now. But you can absolutely see that there is a little bit of chip in the leather here. I've never experienced anything like this with any of my other bags that I've had to like return it. But this is like... Oh my goodness, that's crazy. Do you guys see it? Like the little white, like the little dot, like a little speck here. I feel like the leather just came off. Um, okay, so I am going to have to exchange this, <laughs> um, which sucks because now I can't wear it. Oh, but thank God I didn't take any of like the plastic off. That would have been a problem. So I'm going to take this back to the store and hopefully they can give me a replacement because best believe if i spend this much money on a bag i am not going to keep it if it has a little tear in the leather this is gonna have to go back to the store it's very sad because you would expect perfection when you're paying such a premium price for handbags but i guess not okay anyways thank you guys for watching my unboxing, a little bit of a fail unboxing. Oh, I forgot to this inside. A little bit of a fail unboxing, but I guess stay tuned for when I return this now. <laughs> Go back and return it. And hopefully they can replace the bag for me if they still have some in stock. It's so sad. Okay, anyway. Thank you guys for watching um please make sure to subscribe to my channel like this video comment if this has ever happened to you before if you've gotten a bag from such a designer company and it's ruined um and it may not seem like a lot um even on camera i don't even think it shows up too much it may not seem like a lot but again if i'm paying such a premium price for a handbag i should be able to return it and get a new piece that's completely fine uh so yeah let me know if this has ever happened to you before and if you've taken it back to the store and if they've replaced it or if you've exchanged it for something else and i will keep you guys updated with what happens with me all right well, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!